Your iPhone screen has two main parts, an OLED or LED display, which is what you can see on the screen, and a digitizer, which is what registers the touch on your screen and moves the things around. If your iPhone is not responding to touch, there's a problem with the digitizer. And it could be a software problem, or it could be a hardware problem. Hopefully, it's a software problem, and that's where we're gonna start in this video. Yeah, so a lot of the time what happens is your iPhone stops responding to touch because of a software crash, Easiest way to get out of that is a hard reset. Uh, that's right. Should I do it? Go for it. All right, on an iPhone. Eight or newer. Eight or newer. Quickly press the volume up button, the volume down button, and then press and hold the side button. Don't let go until the Apple logo appears on the screen. The screen's about to go black. Yeah, if you have an iPhone 7, it is the side button and the volume down button. iPhone 6S or earlier, home button power button, press and hold simultaneously, and there you go. Yep, when you see the Apple logo appear on the screen, let go and wait for it to reboot. Yep. Hopefully it fixes the problem. It might not though, or it might kind of fix the it problem. It might kind of fix the problem. So if this actually works for you, we recommend backing up your iPhone immediately because a hard reset doesn't actually fix the underlying software issue that caused the crash in the first place. So it's good to have a backup. We'll walk through how to do a backup later in this video. We got timestamps in the description. Does your iPhone crash when you use a specific app? There could be a problem with that app, not your iPhone. So if you notice that an app is constantly crashing, check for an update for that app. To check for an app update, open up the App Store. Not on my home screen, it's in my app library. I can type it in or it's right there. There's the App Store icon. Tap on your account icon, upper right hand corner of the screen, and then scroll down to upcoming updates. If you see the app that's constantly crashing here, tap update to its right. And if you don't, well, we'll delete it's time and for a new app. Time for a new app. You could try deleting and reinstalling the app. There could be a, a corrupted file within the app that's causing the problem. Uh, so to delete an app, we'll go back to the home screen here. And I will just pick on Trello. Press and hold in the app icon. Trello, Trello's tap, a good app. Tap remove app, tap delete app, then wow. tap delete. That will uninstall the app. You can go back into the app store, search for Trello or whatever app you just deleted, reinstall it, see if it's working again. Yep. Delete all your work apps. Yeah. For the video. Grade. Slack, gone. Yep, gone. <laughs> WordPress, gone. Word, well, if only. Yeah. If only we could delete WordPress. If an app isn't causing the issue, check for an iOS update. It's rare, but iOS updates actually have caused display issues in the past, uh, iOS 11.3 being a prime example. So check for an iOS update. Open up settings, scroll down, and tap general, tap software update, and see if a software update is available. There isn't one available for me, unfortunately. Yeah, if, if there is, download and install it. David actually did the research on that and found yeah. this uh, instance back in the day, but just another example of a software problem causing this digitizer yeah. touch issue. The touch screen on your phone might not be working, but whatever device you're watching us on, it is working. We know it is because you're watching the video. And if you could use that device to subscribe to this YouTube channel, we would be so Whoa. grateful. Yep. It helps us out. Just tap or click that subscribe button below this video. If the touchscreen still has some issues, we recommend backing up your iPhone. It could be a deeper software issue, and our, one of our next steps is gonna be the DFU restore. You'll definitely want to back up before doing that. Yeah, because that's gonna take everything off your phone. But to back it up, iCloud, if you can, that would only be with a touchscreen problem. Yeah. It would only be if it was already set up, but the way to do it, the surefire way to do it. On your computer, Finder, if you have a Mac running 10.15 or newer, iTunes, if you have a Mac running 10.14 or older, or if you have a PC, that's how you back up your iPhone. Just plug it in, back it up. Yes, I followed what you just said. This is why we have graphics on the screen. Yes. Yes. So, you've backed up your iPhone, time to do a DFU restore. DFU stands for Device Firmware Update. It's the deepest type of restore you can do on an iPhone because it addresses that really low level code that controls things like the digitizer. So to do that, watch our video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that. it's, it's you know, five to 10 minute process if you do it right in the first time. Links to our other videos in the description section of this video. So, DFU Restore didn't work. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Time to go to the Apple store. Yeah. Time to make a Genius Bar appointment first. Otherwise, you're gonna end up standing around with no phone to play with. Now, there is a MacGyver solution oh, to I this issue. Yes. Um, before we tell you what it is, just be careful because if you, if you do this yeah. too hard, you could end up breaking your phone. I'm gonna go to Google and I'm gonna type this in. I fix it. 
and then display replacement, and then your iPhone model. So let's say iPhone 12 Pro, which is what I have right here. Go to the first result that isn't an ad, and then you're gonna wanna just scroll through this until you find something. I just use Command F on a Mac, Control F on a PC to search for display connector or digitizer, one or the other. And then you can look at their pictures and just, you might have to scroll up a little bit too to find where the digitizer is. And so I happen to know that this is where the battery is so I can come up here. I can see that the digitizer on this phone is over in here. So that is approximately in here on this phone. So if I basically just press on the screen, just, just sort of firmly, but not so hard as to break it, then that might fix the problem. I actually fixed somebody's phone in an AT&T store once by doing this. She was so great. Yeah, it just makes that, you know, reconnects the uh, internal yeah, components. Uh, yeah. Now, if this doesn't work for you, it, don't come leaving a comment saying you said this would work and it didn't because this is, you know, it's not a surefire fix it's to the issue. It's between MacGyver and MacGruber. Mm. Solution. Yeah. Yeah. So better bet is just to go to the Apple store, as you said, set up a Genius Bar appointment first. That way you're not waiting in the line and your phone's broken so you can't even, you know, pass the time. Right. If your phone's destroyed, the Apple store is gonna be very expensive. Mm -hmm. They do have discounted display replacement costs if you're out of warranty. If you have Apple Care Plus or you're under warranty, definitely go to the Apple store. And if you have an older phone and you don't wanna pay a lot of money, find a mom and pop shop because a screen replacement is what they do. They do battery replacements and screen replacements all day. Yeah. So older phone, yeah. Be careful about screen more. replacement though because the iOS 11.3 issue was from screen replacements done by third party repair people. Let's talk about some new members Woo! for the channel. We've got Charlotte Silliman, Ronnie D, Turtle Eating the Pizza, Jim Sanger, Saturn We Miss You, who was in the live stream the other day, and, and Siege. Siege. Who's uh, Zach's friend. Now, Saturn We Miss You is a little confusing. It was confusing to David anyway, mm. because we still think that Saturn is a planet. Mm. So apparently that's a new thing. We miss Saturn. We yeah. miss Pluto. Right? That was that. your suggestion. Yeah. Pluto, we miss you. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Pluto. Poor Pluto. That is what to do when your iPhone is not responding to touch. Thanks for watching this video. Join these fine folks by clicking that big join button below the video. We hope to see you there. Yes. Thanks, guys. And women, everybody. Thanks, everyone. But it also included Apple parts. And Apple said, oh, you shouldn't have got your phone repaired at the third party. But then they said, oh, we used Apple parts. So. Nice try, jerks. <laughs> Boy, this is quite the story. Slack, gone. Yep, gone. <laughs> WordPress, gone. Word, well, if only. Yeah. If only we could delete WordPress.